Good afternoon all, CamelbackTrading.org coming to you this Monday afternoon, June 7th. We are looking at Window Traders Market Profile of the SPY, IWM, and Triple Qs. Very sleepy day today. Turned out to be a decent day. Uh, got a little aggravated because there were a couple of plays I wanted to take that would have proven to be really nice at the time. Just didn't quite get what I wanted to take them. I'll go over that in a minute. Um, both IWM and Triple Qs go out with trend days. Uh, one set of single prints for Triple Qs and K. That's where change took place above A and H is high. Triple uh, Russell was very strong all day. They had an open and drive straight up. One set of singles that hold in E. They had a couple throughout the day, but never could hold them except E. Uh, Triple Qs go out nine wide. Russell goes out seven wide. Spy and ES. Once again, just like that day three weeks ago or so when we had the outside week up, we opened, got within 14 cents or so of the all-time high, only to push down. But unlike that day, we battled back and came back pretty strong. Um, late in the day, we end 10 wide. It was a B-shape for just long liquidation. We took our trend day back from yesterday, spent most of the day in the lower distribution, um, and we just barely got into the upper distribution again for the first time since A period here in M. Uh, as far as my trades go, so in A period, when we opened, I didn't do anything right away. I was thinking about taking a short against the all-time high and the overnight high, but I should have. We got close enough, but I didn't do it. What I did do is take a long against once the single prints filled in D and H. I bought the 420 calls. Uh, to see if that's what they wanted to do the first time. And that's all they wanted to do as I got paid as it rallied up. Not a lot, but it rallied up. B's high, and I forgot to mention this in the room, was going to be a lowest, uh, highest accepted price. We opened, right? A closed. Look where B opened. Never saw it again until L's high. So it was a highest accepted price until it got taken away in L and M. Um, but I took a short in B period, uh, once it opened, couldn't get back up. We made a new low, started shorting it between A's low and B's high, the 424 puts. I did that again. Excuse me. I did that again in C period, 424 puts, scalping them a couple of times. And then once D took out C's high, that game was over, even though they held. Believe it or not, we had a small trend day that held until K period. Nobody wanted to get anything done today. Um, I took a short in F. Now, here's where I got a little upset today. I took a very small short in F because I thought those single prints would fill. And I was looking for an afternoon rally high. And I thought we'd get it either in F or G or H. And as you can see, they played games. So I did take a small short in F. It came in. But I never took it again in G or H because I was like, well, look how close we are. Let's see if we take out F's high, get the singles, and then take... I was looking to take a 100-put play against B's high, against the highest accepted price at the time. Never came there, never got it. And then to make things even more frustrating, when we came down here, I said, well, SPY got there overnight. We finally got the lowest accepted price from Friday. ES missed there overnight by, I think, one tick. So I didn't take the long. I'm like, well, we got to go get it, right? So I waited in I. I waited in J. We have a poor low. Never took the long, and look what happened. So then the only other trade I took, I started a short play in K, um, a small one once they filled the singles. I added. I had a 50 lot. I ended up making money on it because uh, L came in a couple times that provided decent opportunities for me to make money and go flat. So not a bad day. But frustrating because if F, G or H had gotten up here and I took that size put play and then it did what they did later on in their time frames, it would have been a beautiful trade. Same on the long. Market doesn't care what I want though, right? Destinations for tomorrow. There's three and only three on the upside. Today's high, 422.78. Friday's all-time high, 422.92 weekly high. And the overnight all-time high, 423.31 for May 10th. For the downside, first destination will be the 10 wide pock ease high of 421.54. Today's low of 421.19. 420.68 daily low and filling the gap at 419.99, a 69 point gap. And you should have the rest of them down to last week's low. And then just quickly, I'm just going to show you the daily. 
as far as charts go. Um, inside day, so it's going to be very important tomorrow. If we come out of the inside day to the upside, I will be looking longs because we should go get the all-time high. We should go get the overnight all-time high. And then the big question becomes, what do we get above that? On the flip side, if we take out today's low and come out of an inside day to the downside, I would expect to get Friday's low and fill the gap as destinations. And you know what? I do want to show you one other thing. I apologize. Let me just go back real quick because um, this is fairly important. Russell today with that open and drive got above, remember the 228.10 level? The next big level was that only other time since we've been in this 11-week balance, 230.95, and that's a monthly high. Well, guess what? We got to 230.77 and closed right up there. So very impressive close for Russell. Their next step is to get acceptance above the 230.95 level. If they do, their all-time high will be in their crosshairs. And as far as the Qs, 340 is the next big level before they attempt to get their all-time high. I hope you had a great day trading. Have a lovely evening, and we'll speak prior to the opening tomorrow.